Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today should be a good day. We're on a private lake close to Lake Hickory. That's all I'm going to say. I got lucky enough that John brought me out here. He's got permission to fish here. It's kind of it's kind of sketchy getting down here, but it's a private lake, not fished by a lot of people. And there's double digit bass in here. There's known to be big fish in here. Not a ton of fish and the water temperature is only 48. It could be a little bit of slow day, but these fish are not pressured like Lake Norman or any of the lakes around here. If I can't catch them here, we've kind of had a bad luck streak when I've been on this boat lately, but if we can't catch them out here, then something's wrong. I'm gonna try to throw everything at these fish. I'm gonna start out just trying to get bites, but then we're gonna go big fish hunting. There's known to be some big fish in here. Hopefully we can catch one over. My biggest of the year so far is a 3.90. So the goal for today is to beat my 2020 PB. Let's see how it goes. First fish of the day. We went two hours without a bite. We went up the creek. I guess this is where they're at. He ain't little either. He's a good one. He in that? I was slipping. He might be five, six. Oh, he's big. Good gracious. That's a toad right there. God. They were up the creek, guys. That's a six. I would say easy. Right in the top of the mouth. Was that trench hog or whatever they're called? Bandito bug. Bandito bug. Look at the size of that beast. Well, we heard there were some big ones in here. Look at that. His fins are all messed up. So. Yeah. Put them in the whale. To get a picture of that fish. Well, this one we're thinking there's no fish in this lake. <laughs> Just had to come up the creek. Found some bait up here. Big old giant. That thing's close to six, probably five point eight. My guess. Five fourteen. Right at, I mean, 414. Right at five pounds. A little skinny for a winter fish. Not too skinny, but. Don't catch many that size at Norman. Well, guys, we made a lake change. We went to Kerr Scott. He knows this lake really good, but the private lake just didn't pan out. We fished about four hours. Had that one bite. It was a nice one. I'm thinking that lake just has big fish in it. And it, the water was colder there. It's actually. 49 or 50 degrees here at Kerr Scott. So hopefully he knows this lake pretty good. I usually struggle at Kerr Scott, but there's some giants in Kerr Scott. I'm hoping we can crank them. Hopefully we can get a pattern going. He's been catching some over four pounds out of here. So hopefully I can catch, I'm still trying to break my year PB, but I'm really at this point after four hours of no bikes, I just hope we can catch some fish. Let's see how it goes. But I was really thinking about it, but uh, actually that's the, oh fish yes finally a small mouth it has been a struggle guys we can't catch him a curse scott better be careful not to lose him it's a little football he ain't huge but... finally we got him he ain't but two and a half he's just a full fat guy He's in the bottom lip. I could flip him probably. I caught a fish! <laughs> Never give up! Woo! It has been a struggle, guys. I mean, we've only been here like two hours, but after the four hours at the private lake not catching one, it's been a, it's been slow. And I haven't called fish in a long time at the lake. I got skunked last time at Norman. Couldn't even make a video. Been skunked all morning. Skunked every time I go to the pond, caught one. But that fish isn't huge, but he's fat like every fish in here. He's probably two and a half. Maybe, maybe not. Probably 2.4. We can weigh him and find out. He ain't huge. I'm gonna put him in a well just, just because. 
Well, he's over two and a half. Two pounds and ten ounces. So if we can catch four more keepers, I'll be happy. He ain't, he ain't my 2020 PB yet, but got him on that rock crawler. Well, guys, we're calling it a day. Go ahead and let the one fish we caught all day here go. He's a decent little fish. The water's cleared up and the temperature's been about the same for the last month. This is making it real tough. We tried all day. Two different lakes. That's the only fish I caught. He caught one giant at the other lake, but it was tough. We, we tried pretty much from daylight to dark, so I mean, or from dawn to dusk. And I mean, just some days the fish aren't going to bite. I guess the conditions weren't right. We tried everything. But like usual, I hate Kerr Scott, but he can usually catch them here. That's what's surprising. I, usually I struggle with Kerr Scott, and I still, like, Kerr Scott's not even that far from my house, but I just feel like it's such a tough lake to fish. That's why I never come here. But I'll be back when the water's warmer, and we've got the big bass tournament coming up for Lake Norman. So I'm going to be fishing Lake Norman a lot, and that's two weeks away, so I'm going to have to practice for it a lot. So I'll probably be fishing Norman mainly by all, all week. Next video will probably be Lake Norman tuesday tournament i'm probably gonna fish late on before the big bass it's two weeks away i gotta get ready for that that's probably gonna be the biggest tournament i fish all year so i'm really pumped for that hopefully we can get lucky like i did last year but the day was a tough day i'm ready to start catching some fish it's supposed to be warmer next week the fish should start moving up thanks for watching we'll see you on next video